Good morning, YouTube. It's Wednesday, September 13th, 2017. Today, I want to talk about stories and words and ideas and memes. We'll start by refreshing on the ideas of object space and thing space. Object space is whatever it is that is real and outside of our minds. The stuff that keeps existing when we stop thinking about it. Think space is all of our models and stories and narratives, the things we use to stitch together descriptions of the world using language. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, that depends on what you mean by sound. Do you mean a wave of rippling particle interactions propagating outwards in all directions such that if a human were present it would vibrate their eardrums and be perceived as a crashing and violent splintering of wood? Or by sound, did you mean the qualia of sound within the mind of a conscious observer? One word, two different concepts, two different answers to the question. So the answer is yes or no depending on the concept you have hiding behind the word sound. We're not quite consciously aware of how we use most of the words we use, so subtle variations like that in concepts can lead to all sorts of drama. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well, that's not actually a question you can answer without a deeper meta-level understanding of what the other person means when they pose the question to you. I can't stress enough that every word is like this. Every word is made up of pointers linking to other words and concepts, describing a way that reality might be, or telling a particular story. And they don't all mesh together nicely. A tree isn't a part of the territory, it's a particular map. Hearing isn't a part of the territory, it's a particular map. And sound isn't a part of the territory, it too is a particular map. Even science, which tries to construct the most accurate in an epistemic sense map of the territory that it can, has lots of places where its models and theories butt heads, quantum mechanics and general relativity usually being the go-to example. So, what do I mean when I say, a tree isn't a part of the territory? What I mean is that tree is a word that we use to map out a particular part of the territory in a particular way. It's made of submaps like leaves and branches, and part of larger maps like parks and forests. We can go really deep into phylogenetics and be incredibly nitpicky and precise in how we go about defining these models, but knowing that a tree is made of cells doesn't actually get you out of the map because cells are another map. You can't actually escape the map. You are the map. You is a map. I is a map. We are a map of the territory, and the map is not the territory. I think therefore I am isn't even in the territory because I isn't in the territory. So. I also can't stress enough that we don't live in object space. Our bodies exist in and are made of and navigate through object space, but we live in and are made of the stories that we tell about ourselves. We are a complex, multifaceted, and self-sustaining model of reality. Everything about us and how we think of ourselves is stories and models built out of stories and models. The hundred billion strong colony organism that is your brain isn't I. No, I is an idea that's running on that brain, which is then used to recursively label that which has ideas. This was, for me, a rather liberating thought. Realizing that so much of our world is built out of stories that we tell each other, including ourselves. Well, what if we just decide to tell a different story then? Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a fan of my content and you want to help me make more of it, you can support me on Patreon. Links to that, along with my blog, Twitter, and Discord server will be in the video description. Have a great day, YouTube. I'll see you tomorrow.